in March, and from probably July, August, I kept hearing, you guys, get ready, Don Chalmers is gonna come. We're gonna be okay for the year. I've been here for 28 years, and I have never met a group of so of people that are so engaged with what they do and really believe in what they're doing. There are people that show up and they're doing it for, I don't know, some selfish reason or because they feel like they have to. But that's definitely not you guys. And, um, you know, from the very beginning, you have, uh, are engaged emotionally with this project, but you keep it so professional and so, um, I don't even know I have words for it. Um, just so professional and, and make it an, just a fun and wonderful time for the patients. And they just can't even believe it. They can't believe that, that one dealer car dealership would do anything like this for, for children, families who they don't know. And also do it year after year after year. For 16 years, and I and I think that's my biggest takeaway is just how genuine you all are. And Thank you. I mean, from your mechanics who show up, who probably have never wrapped a thing in their life, <laughs> who are used to working with cars, who will come in here and spend hours in here wrapping gifts or and chatting to you know chatting with parents. That is that's huge. That is so huge and. The families see it and feel it. We get together and we've actually raised funds with the employees that a dealership matches. And then we have to break it up. And the part I love because I get to be a kid in the candy store, I get to. <laughs> we break the groups up and we have people shopping for mugs, people shopping for stuffed animals. I get the great part. I go to Walmart and shop for everybody. Uh -huh. I get to spend a large sum of the money and we probably take four or five employees, maybe six employees, and we go through Walmart, and they just open up one register. And the amazing thing is, to just the people watching, and they think we're having such a big Christmas, and we tell them what we're doing, and they just can't thank us enough for helping the kids, but it's just, it's amazing. We load up in the van, and then we come, we give you a call, we come that Tuesday, and another group of employees comes, and we unload everything, and then we leave the hard job to you. You have to set up Santa's shop age-wise, toy-wise, stuffed animal-wise, and then we come back and create a little bit of havoc in the hospital. We come back in two days later with Santa Claus going room to room, and the children are able to come out. Right. They're able to go into Santa's shop and pick out the toys they want. But the neatest thing I think that's fun and rewarding things for me is to uh, join Santa Claus on our trip through the uh, the hospital to visit the kids and and uh, the parents in the room and take a picture with Santa, and that's become kind of a tradition for us as well so we'll do the best we can to get Santa and the children together and try and put a picture together where we're minimizing the amount of equipment they're attached to a lot of times and to make it look more like a, a moment with Santa and then uh, we'll we'll cut and crop and put those together and um, a group of people back at the store will prepare a holiday card and we'll put a picture or two in the holiday card and bring it back to them the following day and it's a little bit like a traditional Christmas and we know sometimes when we're taking those photos we're you know some of the times it's the first photo a kid has ever had with Santa and some of them it might be the last which is horrible but um, you know we want to do the best we can and make it as uh, cheerful and holiday like as we, we possibly can it's uh, it's pretty hard for me it tears me up every time I do the editing I, mean, I can't talk about it but uh, it's a real great experience for us so you know, going through this, there's many a times things that touched me when I came here. Yeah. Many. I mean, I think I was talking to Tom on the way up here, probably about four years ago. You had the young girl that was sitting here with the IVs and her mom, and uh -huh. all she wanted was the Angry Bird stuff down. Yeah. That's all she wanted, and we gave it to her. It felt like we gave her a million dollars. She was so excited yeah. over one stuff down. When I, I walked away with me saying, that's unbelievable, that we can touch somebody that much with just a stuff yeah. down.
I've convinced the powers that be that siblings should be here all Good. the time. So, siblings are going to be in the rooms, and siblings are going to be in the clinic, um, and they are going to be around. Um, that makes with, more family-like. Yeah. yeah. So that means you'll get to give out more gifts Good. at um, the day that, that Santa comes by. And, well, it's going to be wonderful. Just need age and gender. Yeah. You know, that's it. That's, <laughs> that's, it. that's it. I know. So we're very excited about that. So I awesome. think that's going to make everything, I think, make families happier, um, which is really the most important piece, too. Yeah. So. And we need you on one wish list. Oh, one big ticket out of me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we, have <laughs> we need one big ticket out of me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay.